This lesson is all about learning to play another great rudiment called the four stroke rough, sometimes called the single stroke four. It's a similar type of rudiment to the drag, so hopefully you'll remember that from our previous studies. If we look at the notation for a moment, you'll notice that the four stroke rough has three grace notes followed by a main note and that it's made of single strokes. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Here's what it sounds like at a reasonable tempo. Exercise 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now that's pretty tricky at first, so let's slow it down and analyse what's happening. I'm aiming to get the louder fourth note perfectly lined up with the quarter note click, so I'm trying to play the three quieter grace notes slightly before each click. The best way to start these off is to think of the exercise in triplets and gradually speed things up. Here's an example of some four-stroke roughs played on the snare, all starting with the non-lead hand. The count for this exercise should be one triplet two, three triplet four, one triplet two, three triplet four. But sometimes I like to count radio one, radio two, radio three, radio four, and find that this works just as well. Exercise two. One, two, three, four. It's worth pointing out here that in order to play the fourth stroke louder, I actually prepare that stroke by lifting immediately after playing a quiet second stroke. So in terms of stroke technique, the motions are tap, up, tap, down. That's a quiet stroke, another quiet stroke that comes up, another quiet stroke, and a loud stroke which I'll finish close to the drum head. I'll do that a couple more times quiet stroke, another quiet stroke that comes up, another quiet stroke, and a loud stroke. And once more, a quiet stroke, another quiet stroke that comes up, another quiet stroke, and a loud stroke. Using stroke technique is a great way to obtain control over your quiet and loud strokes but takes time, so be prepared to play everything very slowly and repeat hundreds of times. Now let's give that same exercise a go, but this time we'll start the exercise with the lead hand. Exercise 3 1, 2, 3, 4 Once you've spent a long time repeating these two different ways of playing four-stroke roughs, try alternating them. That means you must now start with the hand that you finish with. Exercise 4 1, 2, 3, 4 OK, now let's play a groove and try to incorporate our four-stroke roughs around the drums. In the first exercise, I'll aim to start the drag before beat one of the second bar, otherwise my rough will finish late. Some people find it easier to start on the and of four, so I'll start with that kind of feel. 
It's worth noting that many people play the four-stroke rough in a more orchestral manner, whereby the three grace notes are crushed up very close to the main note. But as this is harder to do, we'll try and start easy, and you can crush up the four-stroke rough later if you wish. Exercise 5 One, two, three, four. Let's try the same exercise again, but this time we'll start with the other hand. Exercise 6 One, two, three, four. Here's a good way to start playing four-stroke roughs on the kit. Why not split the number of notes onto different drums? Exercise 7 One, two, three, four. Now let's have a go at that exercise again, starting with the other hand. Exercise 8 one, two, three, four. Another classic way of playing four stroke roughs is to substitute a bass drum for one of the hands. Here's an example where the three grace notes are all played with the hands, but the last main note is a bass drum. Try to keep all the notes nice and smooth. At first it's quite difficult to time your hands and foot, so they all play evenly. Exercise 9 One, two, three, four. Here's a similar example where the fill starts with the first grace note as a bass drum and then the other two grace notes and the main note are all hands moved around the kit. Exercise 10 One, two, three, four. The four stroke rough is another great rudiment for expanding your ability on the drum kit. It's a real challenge to try and get both lead and non-lead hands sounding even. And then there are some really useful movements we can incorporate around the drum kit. As usual, practice your four stroke roughs for long periods on a snare, pad or even on your leg when you don't have your sticks. Then get on the kit and start experimenting. Good luck and bye for now.